Tyagaraja Swami lived a very humble, very modest, very religious and a very beautiful calm life in Tiruvayaru which is again a small town close to Tiruvarur where he was born. He composed over 20,000 to 24,000 compositions which ranged from the super simple to the super complex. You know compositions like Ramin Chuva, Revarura, Ragotama, Ninu Vina, which little children can sing, clap their hands and sing, people who don't even know music can sing. To the super complex compositions like Chakkani Raja Margamu, Koluva Maragata, Orangasai, Naji Vadara, oh great masterpieces. He composed mainly in Telugu and also in Sanskrit. How can we forget his masterpiece? Jagadananda Karaka in Sanskrit, which features 108 names of Lord Narayana. This is a part of the Pancharatna set of Kritis, which are like orchestral pieces. It can be performed with groups of musicians singing and playing the instruments together. Tyagaraja Swami introduced several new ragas into the fabric of Carnatic music like Kalavati, Jujahuli, Kaikavasi, Manoranjini. You know, for some of these ragas, Tyagaraja Swami's Kritis are the only reference point to these um, Kritis or to these ragas. Now, I think Tyagaraja Swami really liked Deshadi Thalams. What is a Deshadi Thalam? When the composition starts, six counts after the main beat, one, two, three, four, five. Bantu riti kolu, brova barama, ma kelara, sanatana. These are all Deshadi kritis. And in these kritis, he was the pioneer of the concept of sangatis. Sangatis are melodic interpretation of one single lyrical theme. So you find in Tyagaraja Swami's Kritis lot of Sangatis in the Pallavi, in Anu Pallavi. And he also composed two very, very, very beautiful operatic ballets, Prahlada Bhakti Vijayam and Nauka Charitra. Tyagaraja Swami covered a wide range of emotions in his compositions, treating Rama like his friend, like his beloved, like his father, like his son, he, com he just covered the entire gamut of the Navarasas in his compositions. Tyagaraja Swami is so popular even today. His compositions feature as a main part of every concert even today. It's not for nothing. He was endowed with such a lot of divinity. The divinity and in his content and the variety and the different ragas, the different talas he introduced makes him immortal. Long live Saint Yagraj. Mm -hmm.